Hey guys, Luna here, and welcome to Extremely Powerful Capybaras. This is a game where it is a roguelike. Uh, let me make sure you adjust the volume for a second, because I think it's audio down to 50%. Hopefully that's good. But this is a game where there's different classes, and you can actually play with friends if you so choose. I haven't actually tested it, played this myself, I just tested out a little bit of the classes in the arena over here, and I found that I really like this assassin class, so be interesting to see if I like it long term or not. So, yeah, I like the, really like the AoE effect that the cab about, the assassin has compared to each of the other classes of melee, diagonals, and oh you level it up. You can choose an active or passive ability each time it happens. Uh, press space to select an ability. Where you do so, the Cappy, Cappy's icon will appear beneath the ability you choose. In the online multiplayer runs, there is a time on the top of the screen. When it runs out, the level up will end, and whether you picked an ability or not, choose wisely, but also choose quickly. If you want to undo your selection, press escape. Um, Increase your movement speed, okay. Increase your dodge chance. Decrease weapon cooldown. Or active. Dr drops a circle behind that spins around you, leaving the damaging zone. I'll do decrease weapon cooldown. Because I. Being able to do attacks more so will be more effective. Let's see here. Increases damage, increases defense. I think I'll further increase my cooldown. Ooh. Increases range, increases damage. Temporarily puts a mark on the path you walk on. I think I'll do increase damage. So far, I don't need to do too much moving around. So it does look like there's an edge to the map. Drops of spinning around you, increase your heal buff, increase defense. Change to be trained punching left and right in face direction. I guess I have to increase defense. Let's see, is there anything else interesting around? So it is a very small map. Okay. Back at your foes to give them chills when you get hit. Okay, interesting. Aims in your face direction that returns in a boomerang motion. Um, I'll be roll. Constantly spins around you while shooting. Yes, I do like that. Uh, 
not exactly what I was expecting for the clocks. Guessing the one one does slightly more damage, but is slower while the other one does more damage. Or less damage, but is quicker. over this way. <laughs> okay, I definitely need to get more achievement unlocked. Okay. Interesting, interesting. I definitely like the that. I definitely like the assassin. Oh, it's down here. Gotta go fast. Oh no, this is just where we spawned in. Okay. Let's see. Um, enter a, a run for the first time. Okay. Okay. Nice. So there's ability upgrades here. I don't have any coins. Okay. Uh, I have to be a powerful boss. There's different skins here. Uh. So yeah, let's confirm this and try this again, I guess. First run was just me figuring out what the heck was going on and figuring out the upgrades and everything else. But yeah, goal is definitely to try and get as much level ups points as I can. Uh, let's see. I think dodge chance might be pretty good. Because there's synergies, so... I do like the potato battery, that sound that does sound good. Having an AoE definitely seems like the right choice to have. Oh, and that's a healing thing, okay. Decrease... Oh. Decrease measurement maximum health would be pretty good, but decrease weapon cooldown seems extremely good. I think, yeah, Mother's Heart increases maximum health. Be good since I'm the only person in this. Multiplier health, decrease up, go down. 
Drops in a circle that spins around you, leaving behind a day. I think decreasing cooldown. Defense would be good for another passive as well. Dodge chance would be good. primary sprout. Okay, so they upgrade my... There's a watermelon there. I'll have to try and get to my go-back rounds. Uh, heal above. Uh, Reroll. Fire two shots that weave up and down, one on each side of you. I'm going to AV into change direction every time. I think, yeah, hummingbirds as an additional weapon. chance yeah I think cool decreasing cooldown Gets the flying snakes. do Um, 
guess I'll decrease my weapon cooldown even further. to the hummingbird. It's another vase which I'll go grab in a second. I'll get this one as my next weapon. Let's focus bobbly, bobbly. health
lock cannon. Also need to increase this by, I guess, 20% each. Hopefully that's a little bit better on your ears. Just had a bigger pickup range. Increase my health. Oh, and look, it's, it looks like if there's a golem board around the thing, that means the thing is max level, it looks like. That's good to know. level wonder if I can max everything else. survive two minutes. I think I could survive two minutes. One. Come on, just a little bit longer. it looks like so oh no everything converts into coins okay that's a fun way to go about it I wish you get allowed you to grab more weapons and stuff I can definitely see how this could become easier, but also more difficult with, with more people playing with you.
this. Ten more seconds. Ten more seconds. More powerful bosses arrived. Cappy token. So you have a cappy token that legendary artifacts guard by each arena boss. You receive a cappy token each time you for each time you defeat a boss. However, you'll get bonus tokens for your first clear with each class. You can spend cappy tokens by talking to the recruiter to get upgrades and recruit new and recruit new cappy classes. Interesting. Cool. So I have to defeat each wait. You have to clear this at least once with each class, I guess. That's cool. Ability upgrades. I'll come back to you for in a second. Hmm. Well, I guess I have to clear each class once, I guess? Okay, the librarian of allows us to put some stuff in the hall. Why don't we take a look? How'd get only mighties have them? Oh, and hey, there's a thing here. Cool. Guessing that's for defeating the one boss. Okay. Let's take a look. We're gonna run for the first time. Okay, advance. Equip four different passives, four different weapons. Reach level 40. Survive 15 minutes with any class. Reach level 30. Survive a run in the fishy swamp. Interesting. So the next area is online. So there's warrior, druid, bard, and I'm gonna unlock the. Up I'm gonna upgrade the assassin because. So it looks like the assassin gets some more health, better crit chance, better range. Slightly better movement speed and slightly better dodge chance. So I think I'll upgrade that. You unlocked your first Cappy Blessing. From now on, they'll appear in the arena at certain points during a run. Each Cappy Blessing has a different effect. To unlock more, upgrade your classes to rank 1. Follow the area to file it, find it, then defeat a certain number of enemies inside its zone, but do it quickly or the Cappy Blessing will disappear. Once you do, all players receive a blessing. Cappy Blessings only last for a few seconds, but they're extremely powerful. You may even exceed the title of extremely powerful Capybara. Interesting. Okay. And I think I do want to upgrade some of my abilities too. So, I think I think I definitely want to upgrade. Yeah, I definitely want to upgrade that. That. Um. Let's see here. 
Definitely want to upgrade the potato battery. this as a um so there's that back I wonder is it different But, I think this episode has gone on long enough, so with that, I hope you guys have a good day, night, week, month of your lives, and may the stars forever guide your path, forever might lead you into the future. Goodbye everybody, and see you next time.